like most accounts of the events during the Exodus begin with the same words. The people spoke against God and against Moses. Saved from slavery and death, the children of Israel were never satisfied with the gifts of God. So there was this one time when they were complaining about no food or water, even though God was providing them with manna every morning and quail every night. Sort of like how you go to look into the fridge or into the cupboards, and even though they're fully stocked, you complain that there's no food in this house to eat. It's the same thing here. There was plenty of food, but not what they wanted. It's like God's good gifts to you. You want something more, something different, something extravagant. Or at least not having to go to boring old church service all the time to listen to some boring pastor drone on and on and on and on about Jesus dying for you in the sacraments. Well, be glad you weren't whining when you were with the children of Israel. When they whined, God sent fiery serpents to bite them. Those bites brought death. It's a familiar story. Serpent and death like the Garden of Eden. When the people confessed their sins, God did, again, something amazing. He tells Moses to fashion a bronze snake and put it on a pole. Whenever somebody was dying from the bite of a serpent, they were to look at the one that had been lifted up and they would be saved. Well, I just gave away the punchline. Jesus uses this very same image of himself when he was talking to Nicodemus late one night. He said, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. When you were bitten by that ancient evil serpent, the devil, when the venom of sin is coursing through your veins, bringing death, confess your sins. Look to the one who has been lifted up on the pole of the cross, to Jesus, for absolution, forgiveness, and salvation. He is the one who has defeated the ancient foe by his being lifted up on the cross to take your poison, your sin, your death itself away from you and give you life, life everlasting.